Okay, today I wanted to talk about how I made these curved pipes in my latest rendering. And this, uh, this technique I'm going to show you is not the only way to make pipes in Blender. It's just one of the ways that I like to make them. So here I have my Blender file. And I'm going to hide some of these things here so that I can see what I'm doing. And the first thing I'm going to do is hit Shift A and create a plane. And then I'm going to rotate it while holding down the control key. Rotate it around 90 degrees so that it's facing front. Then I'll hit 3 on the number pad to switch to front view. And I'll drag this plane down so that it's sitting between these two fittings filling in the gap is I'm going to uh, place some edge loops in here to line up with these fittings and uh, to do that I'll hit tab switch to edge selection mode and I'll use the loop cut tool and I'll click and drag this one up to align with that fitting and this one to align with this fitting and then I'm going to place another one right here in the middle. Next, I'll select the edges that I want to keep and hit Shift D to duplicate and drag away from the plane and then right click to snap them back to their original position. Then I'll hit P to selection and that will extract them out to their own layer. So now if I hit tab and switch to object mode and select the plane, I can delete it and that leaves me with these edges. And I guess I should have deleted this one since I'm making a new one. Okay, so um, now I want to round these corners like I did over here. So if I hit tab and switch to vertex selection mode and select these two vertices here and hold down control shift and hit B and then when I drag my mouse you see it starts to bevel these corners and I can increase or decrease the the amount of bend here by dragging my mouse and also increase or decrease the number of segments by rolling my scroll wheel so I'm gonna do something like this and left click to set the bevel um, but it's, it's still live, so if I want to continue editing it, I can open up this bevel menu. And I can continue making changes here with these sliders. And with this shape tool, I can do something like this if I want. But I'm going to set it back to 0.5 for this. And then left click. To accept the bevel. Now I've got something like this, but it's it's not a pipe. So what I want to do is uh, hit tab, go back to object mode, and then right click and convert to curve. And now I can come over here to the object data properties down here in the geometry section, and I can change this depth amount. I'm going to change it to. 0 0.015 and now I have a pipe but you can see it's too long it's sticking way out here and sticking way out here so I'll hit tab and go back to edit mode and you can see my curve is still live so I can select this vertex and drag it back and do the same thing here And I'm going to hit 3 again to go back to front view. Make sure that I am lined up at the center of this fitting. And the same thing up here. And then I'm going to hit 7 on the number pad to go to top view. Actually, I'm going to select all of these and hit 7. 
And then I can line it up this way with the fitting. Once I have that set, I'll hit tab again, go back to object mode. And if I'm happy with what I see here, I will right click and convert to mesh. And then I'm going to right click again and shade smooth. And then the last thing I'll do is come over to the modifier tab and add a subdivision surface modifier to smooth it out. Now, if you need a more complicated pipe with more bends uh, going at different angles and different directions, it's easy to do that just by editing your line segments. So here's another one I created using the same process as before. And I'm just going to adjust it a little bit here. And I'm gonna uh, select this vertex on the end and I'll hit E to extrude. And if I hold down the control key, I can drag straight up and set it there. Then I'll hit seven on the number pad to switch to top view. I'll hit E again. I'll drag this one out straight. I'll hit E again and drag out at an angle and then E again and drag it down straight. Now I've got something like this and I'm going to select all of these corner vertices, control shift B and round off these corners like that. Then I'll hit tab, go to object mode, convert to curve, and then I can set the depth to 0 0.03. Now I have a pipe like this. So anyway, like I said before, this technique isn't the only way to make pipes, but I think it's pretty easy, pretty easy way to make them. Okay, um, I think that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and post them below. And as always, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. It's greatly appreciated and it really helps the channel to grow and reach more people. So anyway, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.